So, um, so my topic is one rural villages experience on poverty elevation. Uh, introduction of my village. And uh, the second one is very short uh, uh, slide to show huge change. And uh, the uh, last one is about the policies on poverty elevation in my hometown. So uh, my hometown, you can see that it's near the Changjiang River, the Qichun County of Hubei province in Huanggang. So it is located in mid China by the side of Changjiang River and around by many high mountains. Uh, it's about uh, 800,000 people here. Uh, and uh, because of the mountains and the rivers there, there has been the frequency and the degree of flood, water logging, disaster here like uh, 1954, 1988, 90, uh, 98, and uh, 2010 and 20. So that's a very poor village there. So you can see that uh, on the left picture is the uh, very uh, large uh, uh, water. And uh, on the right one uh, is the village. Uh, in, uh, before the uh, poverty elevation, the people uh, live in a very old house um, uh, under the mountain. So uh, this picture on the left one is my uh, home, my grandparents and my parents and my sister, brother and me lived here. Uh, and uh, 20, uh, after 20, uh, uh, 2003, we uh, moved to the uh, uh, county and uh, my grandparents they, uh, lived there till 2020. But on the right picture, you can see that my house and my labor's house uh, is changed a lot. And uh, before we just planted the Southern China rice on the left one. And uh, in the poverty elevation, we uh, planted we uh, planted many kinds of vegetables and the warm wood is a very traditional Chinese traditional herb. Uh, you can see that the, uh, that's me and my niece uh, as, uh, five years ago. So we just play the uh, in the field, but uh, on the right one, my parents and them can migrate uh, to the city. So uh, uh, before my parents just lived in the uh, village, but now they can migrate to the city with the next generation. So my brother moved to the Guangdong province. They uh, worked in a factory uh, to uh, work for a factory, uh, for the Japanese factory, uh, like they, uh, 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 they making the phone. So uh, we can see that the China fight against the poverty entered the critical in uh, 2012. So, uh, so our Ms. Shenning uh, introduced us. Uh, the uh, 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 the short uh, change in uh, China, so I will I won't uh, talk it uh, a lot. So um, our policies in my hometown, uh, I think, is targeted uh, effort in six areas like our China, the whole country. So. First, we will find uh, who are the poor people accurately, and then we arrange the targeted programs, uh, united the capital efficiency, and take the household based measures, and dispatch first party secretaries based on the village's uh, conditions. And then uh, we achieved the siege goals. We see the different pictures of my. Uh, County. So the first, I think it's very important that the grassroots parties leading 
So the first party secretaries and their resident working teams are very, very important. Uh, we can see that they dispatched uh, them to the villages. So they lived together with the peasants and uh, they worked for them step by step. So, and then I, uh, they, we constructed the infrastructures. So we can see the very short video. So um, we have, we built lots of roads so we can uh, sell the agriculture foods to the other areas. Okay, so uh, that's uh, and, uh, another very, very important policy in my village is we uh, planted a lot of Chinese traditional herb. So um, we found another way uh, for the peasants. We can see that we changed the uh, mountain into the planting arrows. We planted uh, uh, lots of Chinese traditional herb. Okay, so uh, the fourth one is we do the environment uh, environment protection in rural village. So uh, we can see that the environment uh, here is not uh, dirty and uh, uh, the mountains and uh, the uh, clean waters there. So they can guarantee the people uh, not um, go to the hospital so they can uh, have their income for the development. And uh, we building the trade market for the agricultural goods. That's a very important key uh, policies. So the trade market uh, is in the center of our village. You can see that the people, uh, the peasants uh, planted the goods or the rice or uh, the herb. So they can uh, move it to uh, uh, to the trade market to sell it. And uh, the sixth one, we focus focusing on the children's education. So uh, we they can change the conditions uh, gradually. You can see that the, uh, this is my one of my uh, nephew. He just played on the field. <laughs> but uh, now, uh, he can go to the kindergarten. It's very good now. Uh, and then improving the county hospital and the matching pension for peasant and the loading uh, uh, policies for the loan money from the bank. Uh, so the, hos the hospital and uh, the uh, just matching the pension for the peasants so they can have uh, money to develop to buy some uh, agricultural seeds. And then uh, we uh, encouraged the uh, uh, industries to help the uh, farm land, like the PV power pianos come with each home as standard. You can see that. And then we look at the, um, the right two pictures, the PV powers. Uh, along the roads and the, uh, the mountains. So as on the left picture is uh, we do, uh, we have some policies and uh, do some relocation of impoverished people resident. Uh, we uh, help them uh, uh, migrate from the mountains to the uh, land and uh, they can easy to come and uh, go. So uh, in the conclusion, uh, I come to the conclusion that the first one I think is the CPC is continuously leading. Uh, we have the socialist policies with the people first and the people oriented. So like my grandparents and my parents, they, uh, they are not the party's member, but they thanks for the uh, CPCs very much. 
So my grandparents passed away last year, uh, but the, the thanks for the parties uh, because they, was, they were born on the 1920s. So they undergoing a very long history in the uh, country. So just like uh, Markowitz did that before 1949 and now my grandparents experienced uh, but they, uh, they see, they saw the changes in their life. So uh, the, uh, we, uh, our policies that have five questions in poverty elevation, like who should help, who should be helped? We First, we should uh, found that, and how to help, how to evaluate, whether someone has emerged from poverty and how to ensure those people stay free from poverty. And uh, we have five mirrors for poverty uh, eradication, uh, like boosting the economy to provide more job opportunities, relocating poor people, and uh, compensating for economy losses, and uh, improving education, uh, in impoverished or errors and uh, providing sufficient allowance for those unable to shake up poverty through their own effort alone. So, uh, for example, uh, I take an example of, as me. So, I uh, in my uh, and, I, and uh, when I was very young, I uh, planted rice in the village, but now I worked in a university uh, as a, a teacher. So uh, from my grandparents and me and, uh, my, and my parents and uh, me and my young brother migrant to, uh, I think uh, he is a migrant workers from the rural to the city, but now uh, he got the uh, city's uh, household, the hukou, uh, in the Guangdong province. So it's a very change, big change uh, from the three generation. Uh, we, uh, we can uh, feel that we have a very big changes uh, from my family. Okay, so that's not sure. You have five minutes. Uh, yes, I think uh, that's all uh, of my... Uh, all right. <laughs> yes, thank you.